So what does that really mean? How does that play out? I can't help it. I'm just playing sports, you know. Have you guys known any Filipino Asian comedy that's really famous that you understand? That's what I mean. So, uh, and we can't be funny as comic, you know, unless we kill ourselves like Jackie Chan, you know, he's funny because I'm not ready to die yet. So, I was glad that the Navy took me to grow up in Connecticut to get away from the third world country of Oxnard. It is third world because our neighborhood is like 80% undocumented Mexican and some Asian gangster. <laughs> so that's the only uh, accent that I knew until I moved to Connecticut, grew up in Connecticut. It's actually another third world full of white people, but it's third world for me. But during that time, we uh, met Janet and Asian, I'll prove to you that we're not funny. So when we were there, Janet was not talking to us for like two weeks and uh, I found out that she thinks we're weird. We keep calling her him and her daughter we call him and her husband and son her. So I apologize to Janet. Janet because in the Philippines or even in China we only use one gender pronoun. So sir or a sir or if you are transgender you know if you move to the philippines or china we're actually very advanced we're ahead of time so if you're transgender that's a gender-free nation and we move there right sir i mean ma'am so, so you know that being a caring for people coordinator was tough first of all i had a three inch Fantastic. At a daycare. Oh. And one of my favorite singers is Whitney Houston. Yeah, yeah. She sings this song. <laughs> I did 90% of my Air Force career also as a mom. Suffice it to say, I put up with a great deal of whining, hair pulling, temper tantrums, then I'd leave the officers at work and go home to my kids. <laughs> No, no, this is all an act, guys. I'm, I'm actually quite nervous up here. I feel like a white male Republican on American culture.